Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this CATS Heaters Thermostatically Controlled Circulating Tank Heater. Now to confirm if this is going to work for your vehicle, take advantage of our vehicle fit guide here at eTrailer.com and input the year, make and model of your vehicle. And our fit guide will let you know if this will work for you or if we have something comparable that will work for you. This circulating tank heater is designed for coolant systems with a 26 to 40 quart capacity and it's going to let you start your engine easier and warm your cab faster in cold weather. Now heating your engine coolant is going to keep it from thickening and freezing resulting in more reliable startups and smoother operations altogether. It's also going to lessen the workload and extend the life of your vehicle's battery. And because starting your engine when it's warm creates less condensation in the engine block than starting it when it's cold, your engine will get better initial fuel vaporization, which causes fewer emissions and less pollution. This external tank heater is going to connect to both your heater core hose and engine block drain as an effective way to heat your whole coolant system. The heated coolant pushes the cold coolant through the engine block, heater core, and radiator, and then thermo siphons it back into the heater. The heater's internal thermostat is going to automatically shut the heater off at 175 degrees Fahrenheit to keep the coolant at an optimal temperature, which allows it to heat safely overnight. So as a result, your coolant system will be preheated for a smooth startup, and your cab will heat and defrost faster, and you won't have to worry about frozen hoses. You want to make sure that you do not use this heater with 100% antifreeze solution. Now the included fitting is going to let you attach this system to your engine block drain. If there is no drain in your engine block, then you can use a lower radiator hose connector, which is sold separately, to splice into your lower radiator hose instead. The included Y-shaped tube will connect the tank to the heater core hose that leads to your engine block, water pump, or manifold, depending on your application. And the die cast zinc tank is impact and corrosion resistant and the tapered neck is going to assist in the flow of coolant. Now for the thermo siphon to work correctly, this tank must be positioned vertically and then you would just use the mounting bracket to secure the tank to your vehicle's frame rail, fender, or firewall. And once the tank is mounted and all the lines are properly connected, you're going to run this five foot long power cord out your grill so that it can be plugged into a three prong 120 volt outlet or extension cord. You do not want to start your engine with the heater plugged in because once the vehicle is started or running, there is a chance that an air pocket can go through it and it would then be exposed to the element. That exposure could then cause this element to burn out. Now this has a wattage of 1500 watts and an amperage of 12.5 amps. And let me pull out my ruler here just to go over some dimensions with you so you can be confident uh, this is going to work for you. So beginning with the overall length of this tank, and I'm not including uh, the inlet or the uh, outlet ports here. So the overall length, we are sitting pretty close to seven and a half inches long or tall as, as, when you have this mounted. The outer diameter is about two and a half inches. And then the inlet and outlet, they are both right at about an inch and a quarter, as you can see right there. And then the outer diameter is five eighths of an inch. So you're gonna get everything that you see here on the table before me. Along with this heater, you're going to get six hose clamps. Again, this uh, Y tube that we talked about briefly, the hose fitting, and then the mounting bracket with the hardware, along with instructions. And that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.